Hey Saggies, it's Trinity Tribe and I'm here to give your general read. Please keep in mind that this is just general, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I hope everybody's day was beautiful and productive. I smell a lot of abundance around you guys' energy. The answers you need are coming. Holy Spirit, what do we have for our Sagittarius? Okay, adjustments are required. Okay, so some of you guys are being called to change your day-to-day -day routines. As far as meditation and praying goes, I myself resonate with that. Getting grounded as far as discipline. Getting grounded uh, with your finances, getting everything, getting all your ducks in a row. Even the people you hang around that could be affecting your energy. Adjustments are required. Just uh, think about anything in your life right now that requires an adjustment. It is time to release negativity. Didn't I just say that? Even negative people. Your hard work is paying off. Communication is key. And luck is on your side. I told y'all I smelled abundance around this area. Some of you guys are being called to take a breather. I know a lot of you guys are trying to start businesses. You guys are running businesses. You guys are um, home with the kids. You guys are being called to balance your energy. Yeah, because you're going to be victorious in whatever you're doing. I said I smell abundance around you guys. Energy. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, a Capricorn, a Gemini. Or your sign, Sagittarius. But there's going to be expansion. Some of you guys are really working hard. Some of you guys are working hard to break toxic cycles. Um, to change your communication style. To change who you surround yourself around. Who deserves your attention. Your energy. You guys are using your intuition. Holy Spirit, what do we have for our Sagittarius? What do we have for our Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Okay, so we have hostilities. And we have envy. So guys, um, I have a few messages for this. Um... With favor on your side, um, luck being on your side, like the will is changing for some of you guys. It's uh, falling into your favor. You have people around you who are going to be very angry. Maybe you left these people. Um, maybe these are ex-friends or ex-lovers, but these people are very envious of you. Um, they're going to be trying to plot how they can come your way like because as you as, as you can see this woman is looking out the window but it looked like she's thinking uh deeply contemplating and this guy looks like he's ready to slay so it's like people are going to be very angry because under adjustments are required we have hostilities so when you're releasing these toxic people it is time to release negativity you have envy. As you release these people, they're going to be very upset as if they don't understand why. That's number one. Uh, the second message I'm getting is some of you guys are being called to release the feelings that um, you have have you that you have been bottling up. Due to the situations around you, okay, like Sagittarius are the type of people who let things build up 
until they can't take it anymore and they unleash the dragon because Sagittarius don't bother people. They're fun. They're free spirited. They're outgoing. They're energetic. They're ambitious. They're go getters. They're victorious in everything they do. And, you know, when we're done dirty, a lot of us tend to harbor energy, especially if it's somebody who we cared about. Okay, so if it's one of those situations where as though you dropped an ex, he's very upset, he or she, this person is very upset. The number 14 could be significant. But he's he's thinking about this connection and how you made him happy or she or he. It's energy, just take it how it resonates. And this person is upset that you left them because they see you being caring and they see you as victorious. And they want this as well. So, you know, guys, guard, guard your possessions or whatever the case may be, especially if you shared anything with, pe with these people, like with the cornucopia, like if you have any abundance or anything tied with these people, you know, just make sure all your ducks are in a row. But a lot of people are going to be very upset. They see you working hard. They see that your work is paying off because you've been strategizing. Some of you guys are strategizing about legacies. You could be 47, um, generational wealth, breaking family curses. And, you know, you're being applauded in the physical, but you're also being applauded in the spiritual realm as well. Like, you guys, ancestors are very proud of you guys. Um, but some of you guys are being called to communicate and to change your communication style. Some of you guys could have um, suffered bipolar or uh, or depression or anxiety. So your communication is off. So just, you know, try to work on that. We have indecision. And we have magician in the mirror. So, you know, with the thinking woman and then the, the indecision, um, some of you guys are indecisive about the people that you cut off. Some of you guys are still replaying situations that occurred. And, you know, you don't know if you made the right decision. You know, you guys are being called to use your intuition. Use your intuition and surround everything around love. Um, you guys are powerful manifestors because with the magician in the mirror that fell on luck is on your side, your energy Sagittarius. So you guys are very powerful manifestors. You know, your thoughts become your reality. So watch out for your thoughts. You guys are powerful communicators, um, storytellers. Some of you guys are, um, uh, indecisive about the path that you want to take you know i see some of you guys um wanting to be spiritual teachers you got contract there some of you guys are indecisive about a contract if you should sign it or not you're being called to pray and meditate on that okay but you guys are powerful and you're able um to create that happiness that you're looking for. What's this hostilities card? For Sagittarius. What's this hostility card? Okay, so we have the three of wands. So like I said, a lot of people are upset because some of you guys are multi-talented. Some of you guys have up to three different crafts that you're working on right now. And a lot of people see you, um, they're very envious of this, that you have gifts, that you're talented, that you're able to uh, m basically mark your territory, I want to say. Like, these people see, like, when you set your mind on something, you accomplish it. So, some people are very upset that you're able to tackle these goals. The number 26 could be significant, but, you know, some of these people are very upset. It could be family members, it could be friends, it could be lovers. That's too many. That's five cards. I don't want that many. 
Yeah, and they're jealous of your finances as well. Okay. Yep. We got the devil. So, yeah, a lot of these people um, have addictions, whether it's sex, sex addictions, drug addictions. You could be dealing with the cancer. We have the king of cups. But um, this person could be jealous uh, because they're not able to invest properly. They're not able to save. Like, money could come to this person and it slips right out of their hands. Like, as you can see, the devil is holding fire. So, it's like anything that comes to this person... Um, this person burns it like it just everything burns around this person. This person could be very destructive. Like, as you can see, like, look at this man's face. He looks really scary. So it's just like, you know, this person walks around uh, with this this stale energy, this hateful energy. Um, spirit is telling you to break away from it. You got the clarity and truth that you need about this person. But yeah, this person could have addictions. But spirit is saying that you're able to detach from this energy. You know, uh, some of you guys have recently took an offer or a date from somebody. We got the page of cups or, you know, somebody you, you could have made it official with somebody. Or like I said, with the higher font, somebody could have just signed a major contract. Maybe that's why this person could be jealous because the page of cups is basic good news. It could be um like small news, but it's it's news, some news. Uh maybe somebody could have recently got a promotion. But um somebody could work for the government. But yeah, this is a critical situation. Like Spirit is saying, watch out for this person. They're very hateful and they're very envious. This person's confused. It's two of swords energy around this person. Yeah, Spirit is saying put it to death. You know, you got a lot of new beginnings coming in, and it's not good to have envious people around you. It's, like, really time to drop these burdens, these envious people, these hateful people. And it's going to cause tower moments in their lives because some of them aren't going to see it coming. Because, like I said, they're on drugs. Um, yeah, it's like you're going to leave these people and you're going to unite with your soul family. Like, people who your soul resonates with people who are like-minded um business deals or whatever like you know it's just the joining of it's the joining of two people but i look at it like or or another thing i could get from this is somebody's dropping all their options just to deal with this one person um because this person has been under judgment like this person like i said could have had a sex addiction and they're having a you know they're using all the strength that they have right now because this person knows that you're going to leave them if they don't straighten their uh their mess up. But yeah, I see you here dropping burdens. Some of you guys um Some of you guys could have recently been on a you know, a romantic date where you dressed up pretty nice. Some of you guys could have recently done some garden work chop down some trees or so we have the six of wands here so this this thinking woman here like i said she's strategizing about the future this woman she wants to be victorious she has all green on she's very abundant you know Yeah, some of you guys can have a nice pretty bun in your hair right now. Some buns, some braids in a bun. But, you know, this woman is thinking of how to be victorious. Um, she's thinking of ways of how she can strate strategically drop these people. Close cycles. Drop these people. The four swords in the world card. Like, you know. Yeah, because... You know, in the past, this person was weighed down. This person could have drunk a lot to cope with the things that was going on around them. Uh, this person didn't really have fulfillment. Like, this person could have gotten drunk a lot just to be around these people. Like, you know, yeah, that's the truth. Like, but improvements are under the way, you know. After a time of coming from out in the cold with the Five of Cups feeling rejected, 
you know, a lot of things just not going in our favor with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And I can resonate with that as well. Like the last five years was very, very tough for me. And I'm finally feeling like myself again, pulling myself together, getting passionate again. But um, this Queen of Pentacles, maybe it's this person uh, that this person was uh, involved with. This woman is losing money right now. Um, this could be a situation where this woman had children and, you know, she thought that having these babies, that it would keep the man like, you know, like she was the trophy or whatever the case may be. But this man had a lot of options. It could be, it could you could be dealing with the cancer, but this man had a lot of options and this woman, you know, she's had children with this person, but, um, she's losing money or he's losing money somebody's losing money from dealing with options so this person's heartbroken about it yeah because they're losing pinnacles because the queen of pinnacles was in it's in reverse so you know um or maybe business isn't going good for somebody right now you know somebody's a little bit uneasy about that about something that they did in the business deal but yeah this this woman here you know, she was looking for security and a helping hand, stability, maybe within this male. And maybe one of them, too, somebody lost their job or whatever the case may be. And, yeah, this person is losing stability with the Emperor card. Yeah, from not using their intuition. We got the High Priestess in reverse. So, something that this person did is, is they've been stopped in movement. Um, Maybe that's why this Indecision card is here. I ran this energy. Um, this person is in regret of something that they did in the past. Uh, maybe within a family. But um, this emperor really has no stability right now. He has not used his intuition. Yeah, and maybe his intuition was uh, rejecting you. Or not using his intuition with his money. Maybe betting and gambling. Or, you know... But this, this man is thinking about his actions because he's looking it, like this could be a situation where a man is jealous of a woman because he's looking over here at the four, I mean, at the ace of cups and the nine of cups and the six of wands. Yeah. And the ten of pentacles. He sees somebody being abundant around him and he's like a little bit upset or on edge about that. Yeah, with the nine of wands on edge, but you know, we got the lovers like this person could love you, but you know, it seems like this person um, only wants to come around because their uh, finances are a little bit low. So watch out for this person. Yeah, we got the knight of pentacles, the knight of wands and the, and the king of pentacles. So, somebody's going to receive a message from this person. Maybe this person is in jail for selling drugs. Or, um, like I said, somebody's about to sign a business deal. This King of Pentacles here could be taking action towards you. He wants to share, like, give you a propos proposition or something like that. Um, or... This guy that you were dealing with, or woman, this person is working on their, working on their finances so they can come towards you. And this is in secret, but this person's um, emotions, yeah, they want to come and offer something. But this secret that they're holding, like it could be a betrayal to you. But um, maybe this person also could be holding back from you to get their pinnacles in order. Like this person feels like they can't focus on a relationship and on their finances right now. So this person could be deceiving you emotionally, acting detached. But um, in reality, this person loves you, but they're working on their finances. Yeah, like they want to communicate to you with the ace, eight of eight of wands. But, you know, there's no action being taken here because this person's like sulking over things that transpired in the past that they're not really too proud of. Like this could be a person um, with a lot of ego and pride. Yeah, they're trying to work on their fortune. But 
um, I also see this as, like I said, this King of Pentacles could be coming towards somebody um, with this business deal. And it's going to be a lot of money. It could be uh, traveling, um, something with traveling in this deal. But I see a lot of uh, celebrations, pretty gowns and, you know, nice hills. This could be like some type of outdoor party that somebody's going to get invited to. Um, yeah, like somebody might be getting invited to a party, like, or somebody's going to call you and give you some truth about a third party. Like, I see somebody thinking about calling you up, like somebody's back and forth in their mind. Maybe somebody wants to call you about a, a baby mother or something like that, or somebody's baby shower, or what's the magician in the mirror? But somebody's about to sign a deal for sure. Yeah, we had the eight of pentacles like yeah somebody's about to get paid for the work that they're doing or somebody's gonna call you and say that they're ready to put the hard work into this relationship after you know some type of tower moment happened can i get one more card here spirit for our sagittarius Okay, so some of you guys could be manifesting good news. We got the Queen of Swords and the Magician. Some of you guys could be um, calling somebody a manipulator. Um, yeah, like, whatever you're telling this person is the truth. Like, yeah, like, whatever you're saying to this person is the truth. Page of Wands. The Ace of Swords and the King of Cups, like, you could be talking to this water sign about something. Maybe you could have told this person they were going to jail. Yeah, but, I don't know. This person is no longer confused about the offer. Can I get an outcome on this reading? An outcome? Yeah, like I said, I smell Money around this we got the ten of pentacles in the world card so this is beautiful some of you guys is manifesting that money yep and it's about to come in quick with the knight of swords oh yeah some of you guys like i said are very powerful manifestors that's too much. Yeah. Like, whatever you're doing is working. Keep on doing whatever you're doing. Somebody's doing something that's about to be very lucrative for them. With the Three of Wands, like, yes. Ooh, with the Ace of Cups, yes. This is going to be very lucrative. Like, some of you guys are researching something on youtube you guys using your intuition or on google some of you guys are using the internet for something to see how something is going to work but something is about to work whatever you guys are working on yeah you're going to be out of this variation and stress like you know you planting your seeds right now and somebody's going to have that new start with the full card okay so, whatever this is, you're going to have a new start. As long as you're using your intuition, you're about to have options, closing business deals. See, so y'all working on your credit scores, freeing yourself from negativity and unrequited love situations. What's coming towards the Sagittarius and love? Okay, so we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Give your relationship a chance. Forgiving and learning. And we have flirt. So some of you guys, like I said, with this person from the past... Some of you guys are going to work with this person and, you know, you're being, if you are going to work with this person, at least make the effort. Um, 
you know, you guys got to forgive whatever occurred in the past. Like, if you want a future with this person, okay, forgive this person for what they did, but just don't forget, you know, watch out for the red flags, what transpired in the past, you know, that made you lead up to your suspicion of what this person was doing. Use your intuition, but, you know, get, get your lighthearted energy back. Because, like I said, some of you guys could be upset with somebody who did you dirty in the past. And you're being called to lighten your heart, you know, flirt with this person. Bring back the childish energy because, you know, you can't want a relationship to work without putting in the effort. You know, you can't guilt trip somebody um, about a mistake that they made or you know have them replaying it over and over again spirit saying keep an open mind you know if you want to work things out with this person you got to put the effort in and you know healing does take time so if you need time for this person uh to be away you know that's acceptable you know take the time that you need to heal from the situation but for some of you guys you're being called to flirt um, you're going to have new soulmates coming in that's going to require a wedding. Um, and we have true love here. So, you know, some of you guys, like I said, somebody's going to get proposed to from this person in the past. But some of you guys have a new true love coming in. You just got to trust the cycles and, you know, close the cycles that need to close. Because it could be an emperor about to come in. Somebody with some influence might get, help you with your business or something like that. And we have getting to know each other. Okay, so you're going to be flirting with this person, getting to know them. Trust at the bottom of the deck again. You and this guy's, uh, this guy or woman's connection is going to be very magnetic. Um, this person might be clingy. But somebody in the past is wishing. Somebody has their spirit angels talking to them, trying to direct them back to you. You could have a child with this person. You and this person could have had a threesome before. Yeah, you guys could have two children together. You know, if this is a family situation that could be worked on, Spirit is saying work on it. Like, look at these two little kids. But, yep, that's all I have for you guys. You know, trust the process. Drop those burdens and release that toxic energy because something is about to happen very, very soon. Okay, Saggies, much love to you guys. Um, if this resonated with you just one bit, like, share, subscribe to my channel. And if you would like a personal, all my in information is in the description box below. Okay, everybody, stay blessed and, you know, have a prosperous week.